Hi there fellow sea glass lovers. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create art with my sea glass. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about being creative and how do you get yourself started. So do you ever find yourself wishing that you could spend more time being creative and doing art, but you just find you never get to it. You never seem to get the rest of the stuff done in life so that you can go on to be creative. Well, today I'm gonna to give you a few ideas on how you can do that. So this past fall I moved house and it was very time consuming and it really pulled me away from my artwork and from my creative energy and all that time that I would typically spend creating and doing art has been spent getting settled into a new house. And that happens with everybody. Things happen in life that get in the way and you tend to take care of life. You do what you have to do, but then you're not really feeding that creative need. So my first tip to you would be to recognize the need to create and to embrace that need to create and say, I'm going to carve out time. I'm gonna set that time aside and I'm going to really give myself permission to sit down, work on my artwork, and really feed my soul. Because being creative feeds your soul. And personally, I found that because I've been so consumed with other things, I'm really missing it. And I'm feeling that void in my life. So giving myself permission to get back at it and set time aside, carve that piece of time out in my day, and say, yes, I'm going to do it. So. Go for it. So to get started, you need to dig out some of your materials. So here I've just dug out one jar of green, one jar of white, one jar of brown sea glass, a few beach treasures, a few rocks, and the two, my necessary tools, like a few wooden skewers, a pair of tweezers, my glue, just enough material to get me started. So I have a lot of stuff to organize, and eventually I plan to set up my art room in a way that's very inspirational and get all my sea glass organized. So I'll show you how I do that once I get it done. Sometime in a future video, I should have that one ready for you. One way to get going when you haven't been doing artwork for a while is to dig out a UFO, an unfinished object, and work on getting that finished. So this is a sea glass piece that I did started last summer for a workshop that I was doing. And I wanna get this one finished and I have a video that I'm working on on showing you some good tips for doing a sea glass project like this. So that video is coming. And I'm also going to put together some photos and images from um, the workshop that I did last summer. I have some stuff stored, so I'll get that one together and show you as well. It's so fun to see what some other people did at my workshop. Another thing you can try if you're having a hard time getting those creative juices flowing is to pick an art project that you've done in the past. Like here's an image of Blomidon, which is a really beautiful view close to where I live. And I did a sea glass piece of this and I love this one. So I'm gonna take that piece and do a smaller version of it. So I've started that project right here. And that's one way to kind of get me going again, doing a smaller project and being inspired by one of my larger favorites. So just as a bit of a teaser for you for a future video, I'm also planning to do a quilted version of this Blomidon scene, and I'm going to do a video on that in case you've watched any of my quilt videos and you like them. Stay tuned for that one. Speaking of quilting, I often work really small with my quilt projects. And these two pieces are very small. They're four inches by six inches. And sometimes having a really small project to work on helps carry you through a time when you don't have time to set up a big project and get something really meaningful on the go. So a few of these small projects have really carried me through this time when I haven't been able to be overly creative. And I will do a video showing showing you a few different things about creating these pieces. 
Another thing that might help get you back into a creative mode is to try something totally different. So I got playing around with my paint pouring and I was paint pouring on these scrap tiles and I was really happy with the result. So I'm going to show you how I did this and what I did with the finished tiles. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So I have a video coming up to show you that one. Really different idea for you in have finding a way to create that beach feel in your home environment. So another thing that you will see me do in an upcoming video is to take this piece of sea glass art that's sitting on the windowsill here behind me and hang it outdoors. Because now that I'm settled into my new house, I want to put this piece outside and I'll show you that one. So stay tuned, you'll see a video on that as so well. So I really hope you found the tips that I've given you today inspirational and it's given you a bit of a push to find some time in your life to be creative and work on your art. And I would just say, just do it. That whole slogan, just do it, really needs to apply when it comes to creating art. Because you don't need to wait until all the stars are aligned and everything in life is all lined up so that you can sit down and create art. Sometimes you just need to sit down and create just for the sake of creating. So just do it. And I really hope that you have gotten an opportunity to get out to the beach and you do get out. And in, until I see you next time, happy sea glass hunting.